Hello, 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 and welcome to Pizza Hero. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and I'm so excited to be playing this little rogue-like bullet heaven type game where we're going to be creating the perfect pizza to destroy all the monsters nearby. And I've had a few little players around with it so far, and it's really, really quite fun. We play as a actual slice of pizza with our pet dog here, Max, who's going to be helping us. He's obsessed with pizza crust, but he will go and collect coins for us and bring them around to us. We start off with just a bit of dough and some sauce, and I think some cheese, and we're gonna be adding toppings to our pizza as we level up, and those pizza toppings will have different kind of abilities that will help us out as we go along. Now, I've played a few runs of this already, and I lost a couple, and I've won a couple, and I've really had a nice time, actually. All right, so now we can add our first level up. We get to choose a topping. We can add Provolone, so a spray gun that has short range, we can add Sage, which increases our armor, or Pineapple, which shoots a long laser beam. Now, I know this is controversial. I know it is, but I'm gonna add some pineapple to our pizza. <laughs> now, personally, I like pineapple on pizza. I don't think it's bad at all. It doesn't go with every other topping, though. Like, if you have pineapple on your pizza, probably just ham. You know, a nice Hawaiian pizza is fine. I wouldn't put pineapple with pepperoni. I wouldn't put it with, you know, barbecue, anything. I wouldn't put it with a lot of other toppings, but with, you know, a bit of ham, that's nice. All right, looks like our dog Max, he just came up with a little quest for us. His friends are missing and they're in cages. We need to go find them and help them get out. So let's go take a look about that. Now we've already got pineapple on our pizza. Uh, unfortunately, this pizza is gonna be the weirdest pizza and not one that people are actually going to necessarily want to <laughs> eat. We can add black olives to it, which I honestly can't think of anything worse than olives. So wouldn't really want to put that on to our pizza. Bell peppers, exploding seeds, splitting in mid shot. That could be kind of interesting. Or black pepper, move a little faster. I've never actually had bell peppers on a pizza uh, in this game. <laughs> in real life, yes, sure, <laughs> but not in, in this game. But I think moving faster is super helpful. All right, now we're gonna go look for some cages. And I believe if we follow these paths, we'll come to a bunch of different things. Yeah, follow the paths, the brick trails on the ground, and we'll find possibly some of Max's friends, possibly though, just something that's more dangerous. Oh my goodness, okay, like these flying things that are now massive. Oh, it's like a pizza oven over here. I think we need to destroy the pizza oven, but we've got a lot of big enemies now coming around us. I need uh, a bit more something. Now you can see some of the coins are flying for, uh, for us. That's because Max is picking them up somewhere. So they just come and find us once Max has collected them. All right, this is a lot of enemies and it just seems to be getting more and more. Ideally, like a nice little level up so we can destroy more enemies would be good. We need some different cheese or maybe some pepperoni or something. Oh, here we go, we've got some things. Ventresina, a fire wave of irresistible spicy pork meat. That could be quite nice. Sausage launches surrounding ninja stars or chili for some faster bullets. I think, I think let's get this Ventresina, a fire wave of irresistible spicy pork meat. Yeah, let's get that one. There we go, so you can see our new toppings on our pizza now. So, so there we go. Oh, the fire wave just goes right around us. So it's actually like if things get too close, the fire wave might help. Oh my goodness, but things are definitely getting close. It's getting very, very busy out here. Oh, you're not getting that pizza oven destroyed at this rate. I almost got that big scary guy that's shooting fireballs at us though. It would be great if we could actually just kill him. Ah, danger, we've taken some damage. All right, I mean, if the lasers are pointing in the right direction, it, they actually are very good, those pineapple lasers. All right, we've got another level up though. Basil reduces cooldown a bit. Uh, makes herbs increase our magnet range or meatballs, raining meatballs from the sky. I don't particularly like meatballs on pizza, but let's go for it this time. <laughs> All right, oh, we got another level up right away. Well, I don't know why. That's pretty good though, I'll take it. Uh, mixed herbs increase magnet range. Rooster, oh, this is like sriracha. Uh, blast large foes improves every level or ranch. Slow down blob improves every level. So we can slow down enemies or we can blast the large ones. Let's blast the large ones with a bit of sriracha. This is gonna be quite the spicy pizza then. Um, oh, and we've got some more. What is going on? Why are we having so many level ups? Did we already put Ventresina on ours? But now the area is up to 20% larger, I guess. Or the meatballs, we could get one extra meatball that rains down from the sky. I think let's go for more raining meatballs. We are leveling up again. Okay, I don't know why we're leveling up so much. We can move a little bit faster or we can get some more meatballs. Let's go for more meatballs. We're just gonna have so many meatballs. I don't know why we're leveling up quite so much though, but I'll take it. Yeah, so now you can see the meatballs like kind of flying in from the side. Okay, pizza oven. We'd really like to just 
Oh, maybe we leveled up so much because we turned the pizza oven on. Let's go and follow a different path now. Ah, oh, we've taken quite a bit of damage though. Now we do have like a little sriracha that's beside us now that's just like shooting out where I guess it's a rooster sauce. All right, let's go to this path over on the right here. A lot of enemies around. Oh, looks like we've leveled up again. Uh, mixed herbs, paprika, or more ventricina. Ooh, bigger damage area. No, let's go with more ventricina. That gives us 20% more. Oh, that you can see the fire around us that it comes out. It is much bigger, so that could help. Keeping oop, things from getting too, too close to us. It's just wish they had like more cool down. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, here we're at the pizza oven again. So let's see. I didn't realize this was going to be another pizza oven. Just oh, we're taking a lot of damage though. We are looking a bit hurt here. Ow, ow, these fireballs that keep being shot at us, ow, are hurting a lot and they're hard to dodge. Almost got that first one there, we got him. Ugh, what about the rest of them though? Keep going. Got another one. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, but there's a heart on the ground. There's a heart. There's like little dinosaurs and if you kill the little dinosaurs then you get a heart sometimes. I don't know how we're going to loop around to get that though. It's very dangerous out here. Max, go get the heart for us. We need a heart. Ow, ow. Okay, got the heart. That helped a little bit. Seriously need more than just that one heart though. All right, if we could turn this pizza oven on though, that could be good. All right, we could move a little faster, we could increase our luck, or we could do more area and more damage for the Ventricetus. Let's do that one, I think. More area, more damage. And for somewhere, yes, it's quite big now, actually. Should keep things from getting too, too close to us. I mean, things aren't getting necessarily close to us. It's more like being shot at by other things. Just circle around this pizza oven for a little while. Ah, it's a bit dangerous though. Try to pick up as many of these gems as we can as we go around. Oh, right, something's happened. Right, faster bullets with some chilies. Or increase our luck with chives or black pepper. Move a little faster. I mean, I'd like to get black pepper, move a little faster, but maybe faster bullets because then we're actually just killing things faster. Uh, it seems like there's like a vending machine up there. Well, I think we should go that way. But let's just finish this first because this is almost done, actually. Ow, but we've taken quite a lot of damage again. I could use... Ow. Ow, these things are getting too close. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, we need to revive. You get one free revive per turn, so... We've used it at about the halfway mark, because yeah, we're at five minutes here. Let's do the cooldown for the pineapple. Will we get more pineapple on the pizza? Ooh, mozzarella. One more shot. Cooldown 10%. Damage, or cooldown area damage. Let's go more damage on our pineapple laser. Oh, see, yeah, I think we've turned that pizza oven on, so we get like a lot of level ups for doing that. Uh, let's get more lasers. 30% cooldown on that. I wanna see lots of lasers. Oh, here's the vending machine, okay. We're at the vending machine. There's something in it. I don't know what it was. We've got something though. <laughs> uh, it was unclear about what it actually was. All right, let's go back down to the path. Oh my God, there's some really big enemies coming now. If we can go to the path and then go a different direction, because we've, I mean, we've unlocked that pizza oven. Oh, there's a heart over there. We really actually need that heart. Let's see if we can loop around to try to get it. Because we need to yeah, go south still and west on the path. There's the heart, okay. Grab that. Okay, we're feeling a little bit better. And looping around this way. Ooh, and we're leveling up. All right, let's get some mozzarella on here. This pizza needs a bit more cheese. There's a pig there. Is that our pig? What's going on with the pig? Ow, just ran off. I haven't seen Max in a while either, but I'm sure he's out there somewhere. Okay, that's quite a big guy. He's actually super damaged, that big guy. Oh, we got him. What's going on? 28, 27. Things are counting down. I think we need to get to one of these. This is green. Oh, get that. A bit of sauce. <laughs> All right, let's get some damage, I think. Or damage, some shield action. Okay, can we get over to these ones in time? I'm not sure how, exactly how far away they are. There we go, there's another sauce. Grab the sauce. Uh, let's get some more ventricina. Let's get that a bigger area. Is the other one gone? No, it's down here. Nine, eight, seven, we got it, we got it, we got it. Whew. Okay, it just had some, looks like some gold in it. Not a level up like the other ones did. Ah, there's a dino. Yes, a heart. Ow. Hey, we took a bit of damage to get that heart, but I think it was worth it. Still just running away. I don't know where that path is anymore, so I think we just go west. We should run into the southern path, I think. Or not, I have no idea. <laughs> well, well and truly lost. Problem at the moment though, I guess we're not like circling around on ourselves, so we're not picking up any of the gems that are being dropped. I'm going a bit more north now, seeing if we can find one of the paths. Don't know if we've gone now too far west. I don't think we should have though. I don't know, maybe we'll go more west. We just have to keep moving. I think that's the most important bit. Ah, ah, they're coming from like every direction. <laughs> I don't know, we might need to go back on ourselves. I'm a bit lost. The map is really massive, I think, is what we've learned. Because we've been going back for a while. 
We're at 8 minutes and 20 seconds now, though, so we just need to survive another, what, minute and a half? I feel like we could do that. We're doing pretty well. Oh, there's another dinosaur with a heart. I wonder if we should just, like, loop around in ourselves a while, just so we have that heart kind of nearby for when we're going to need it. There we go. There's the heart. Actually, we kind of already do need it. Oh, my goodness. The amount of enemies here is a bit insane. Plus, there's a lot chasing us from behind, so I don't know how easy this loop around is going to be. Going to grab the heart. Going to grab the heart. Yes, okay. Ooh, and all of these coins, because that's going to be just moving us towards... Or gems, I guess. Another level up, hopefully. Okay, let's keep going. We are full health. We've got one minute left to survive to win this round. I feel, like, pretty confident about that. Although we have used our revive already. Oh my gosh, and things are firing fireballs at us. What we need is a level up. But we are not getting any coins. And I don't know where that path has gone. It's just gone. We've obviously gone way too far in a direction. I don't know I don't know which one direction, though. Uh, Ventracina, one additional burst or Black Rapper move a little faster, I think. One additional burst on the Ventracina could be good. There we go, okay. Oh, ow, taking some damage from fire here. This guy is almost dead. Oh my goodness, okay. It's so dangerous. Oh, there's a loot goblin. He, he drops coins if we can get him. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, but there's a lot of coins on the ground there. If that laser hits just in the right spot, it's very good. Okay, let's go get the coins over here, or whatever is over here. Uh, 23 seconds on something over there. Let's go see if we can get it. Although 16 seconds on that one up there. Okay, here we got this one. Sauce. Good, another level up. So let's grab some more mozzarella and then we'll see if we can get over to this one. 10 seconds, nine, eight, six. Oh, we made it. Okay, grab this and then we go into the portal because it's been 10 minutes. Right, and we have, uh, we've survived it. World completed, we escaped. All right, fantastic. Oh my goodness, okay. A good first round, actually. Now, we do have some daily challenges. Reach level 8 with Black Pepper. Level up 50 times or defeat 1,000 monsters. Oh, we did that, so we can get that coin bonus now. Uh, we also can put some points into different things to level them up. They cost quite a lot. We've got 452 coins only, but we could... I didn't even know we had a dash. <laughs> I wasn't even used that at all. Dash damage, dash cooldown. Uh, we do a bit more movement speed. Oh, critical damage, critical chance. We're just... No, we can't... We can't afford the, the damage. We just can't afford anything else with that. Max health could be quite good. Because, yeah, I have put a few levels in other things that I played before. So it was quite good. Uh, we started off with a bit of a bonus there, really. Kill range. Hmm. Um, I feel like more max health. Maybe max health, crit chance, crit damage. And that's most of our money. And then maybe we just pass, toss a bit into the armor. That leaves us with 92 coins. I mean, we could get the dash cooldown, but I've never used the dash, so it seems like a bit of a waste. All right, let's take a look through some of the other things here, though, because that's the dreary woods. We could go to the radiant meadows. Lush grass conceals a vegetal nightmare, thriving the gentle embrace of sunlight. Where nature's secrets linger. To unlock the twisted realm, exit dreary woods portal. We've done that. And then, yeah, to get into the next one, we're going to need to exit radiant meadows portal. And let's see. Change your base topping. So we started with mozzarella last time. Uh, there's pepperoni. It launches a splash of dynamite. The mozzarella blaster with a pushback or black olives spitting olives. Let's start off with pepperoni this time, maybe? Launches splash dynamite. And then, what other pets are there? Okay, so we only have, looks like we have only unlocked Mac so far. Yeah, we don't have these other ones along. There's a turtle! Oh my gosh, okay, I wanna unlock another pet though. I wonder how we do that. Oh, we probably have to release him from the cages. He said he had friends in cages. Never found a cage though. Let's go see in, Go to the Radiant Meadows. I've never played this one before, so we'll have to see how this goes. That's nice. It's very green. And we're being attacked this time by radishes, it would appear. That's fun. Uh, we have to survive 20 minutes in this one. That's okay, a really, really long time. We'll follow the path again. I think we need to stick better to the path this time because we did get a little lost last time. We are throwing sticks of dynamite out. Max, they're not very accurate sticks of dynamite, though, to be fair. Oh, we did get that guy. Hopefully it'll be really good for if there's a bunch of enemies in an area. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's hopping towards us. I mean, it does work if it lands directly on them. It's just not so much if it misses. Oh no, not those guys already. Ah, here's a thing with a cage. Oh, this is one of Max's friends. Okay, we just need to stand around this long enough, but there's a lot of enemies protecting Max's friend in that cage. Ow, we've taken so much damage. I don't know if I'd like the dynamite. If we don't survive, I think we might switch back to the mozzarella. It's a bit not accurate. I mean, I guess it does kill a huge group of enemies if it actually comes close to them. Although, here we go, because we'll just have more stuff. Uh, hot shot. Flame large foes improves every level. Raining meatballs. Oh, the meatballs are very distracting because it always feels like I'm being attacked from the meatballs that are raining down, but I'm not. It's just like, that's my ability. Or a black pepper move a little faster. I think let's go for the hot shot. So now we can set them a little on fire. I feel like that's good. 
Yeah, it, it's just like shooting at a little bit of flame. Oh, ooh, there's hearts here too. Ooh, ham, machine gun bit projectiles. Uh, Yeah, let's put some ham on this pizza. That's what we needed last time with our pineapple. We didn't get it. All right, you can see the ham uh, shooting out there. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now, I really love a bullet heaven game. And this one's, I, I think it's fun. I'm putting toppings on a pizza with my pet dog, Max. I love it. All right, onion, pushback waves, mushrooms, magical homing missiles. Uh, Yeah, let's put some magical homing missiles on. Now, I know mushrooms on pizza is actually one of my favorite toppings. I quite like mushrooms. I don't like weird mushrooms, though, you know. Uh, I'm not into chanterelles or anything fancy. I like just like, a, you know, a button, mushroom, a classic brown mushroom. So that's it. Uh, anchovies on pizza It's also controversial. I don't think fish belongs on pizza, but you, know, you do you. Uh, pepperoni, more grenades. Yes, they're definitely more grenades. Although they're not really grenades, right? Oh, we, we got, we unleashed the friend. Oh, Pedro. It's Pedro the bird. Okay, he's now flying around. I don't know if he's going to stay with us. This, there, look at him. <laughs> he's also helping collect coins just like Max. I don't know if we lost Max then, or do we just get both of them? I mean, it'd be great if we just got both of them. That would be excellent. Let's follow this path along though. So yeah, I think if in the last one, if we had managed to find the path again, if we could have gotten, we would have been able to get another pet then, another friend to help. All right, let's go west this time. We'll go counterclockwise around these paths. See what's over here. Cause when I've played before, I found like these big battle arena things uh, that were pretty scary. I feel like we're doing all right though. Could use a bit of health. Oh, there's a loot goblin. I suppose we do kind of want the coins. We have leveled up though. Um, increasing magnet range, reducing cooldown time. Let's reduce the cooldown time a bit. Oh my goodness. What is happening? What are all those things firing at me? Things everywhere. Is that the pumpkins that fire out those? It's a bit crazy. All right, just carry on. Ooh. All right, we got these big guys again. Oh, we're back at another furnace. Okay, or pizza oven. Pizza ovens are pretty good because that gave us a lot of level ups last time. Ooh. Oh my goodness, but we're being knocked around. Oh, there's Max. Okay, Max is back. So we do have both our pets now. That's really good. Okay, we're getting too far away from the pizza oven to turn it on. All right, but a quick level up though. Blue cheese emits a pungent odor around you. Gross. Or we get the Ventricina again. I mean, the punches are odor does it keep enemies away? They're like, oh, that's gross. Don't go there. <laughs> this is gonna be a weird pizza. So what do we got? Hot sauce, pepperoni, dynamite sticks, mushrooms, and ham. And a bit of, is that basil? I can't remember. What would you put on a pizza that had those things on it? Um, I think you'd put, so we got two different kinds of meats. I mean, I don't think you put blue cheese if I'm honest. Let's go for, well, let's go for the blue cheese anyways though. Okay, there's a pungent odor around us. Does it do damage or does it just knock them back? I'm not sure. Pizza oven's almost ready here. All right, leveling up the paprika, bigger area damage. Mixed herbs, increase the magnet range or sage, increase the armor. Let's go bigger damage area. Cause I think that should give us a bigger like dynamite blast, uh, which would be good for kind of killing like big hordes of enemies. All right, the pizza oven is officially turned on. So here we go. Uh, let's go more blue cheese. That's gross, so gross. Let's go black pepper or reduce the cooldown time a bit. Or move a little faster. Move a little faster. At least one level in that I feel like is good. Uh, pepperoni cooldown minus 10%, area up to 10%. Um, yeah, pepperoni it's needed. All right, we need to follow this path back. We're gonna go south next time. See if we can hit all the sides. I mean, we've got, what, 20 minutes, right? So that is a lot of time. All right, back on the path here. Oh, there are lots of enemies flying towards us. Although, it, I mean, it's, when you're moving big distances, it actually gets a bit easier. What is that? Is that cauliflower? We're being chased down by cauliflower and carrots. All right, now we're going south. Let's see what we can find down here. It'd be cool if we could find another pet. Um, or and we haven't tried the battle arena yet together. So, oh, here it is another pet. Okay. It's like a little cat, I think, running around in there. We'll have to see. I feel like that's maybe what it looked like last time. Um, more mushrooms. Oh my. Oh, we're going to die. We're not making it. Oh. Oh, revive. Okay, revive. Oh, we revive, but we don't have so much health. Ow. Ah, this thing is so mean. Ah, ah, ah. So many enemies. Oh, there's a heart. Okay, get the heart. We need that heart. We're desperate for the heart. Yes, okay. Good. Okay, we've almost got the pet. Oh, okay. That's a level up. Maybe we need a bit more luck. No, bigger area damage. Bigger area damage. I think that's the way to go. Oh, that thing's shooting fire at us. Don't love that. Ow. We're getting too far away from that pet to open it up. Ow. Ow. Ow, no. <laughs> oh, we were so close. Look, it was like a sliver left to open that cage up. Oh, man. Okay, let's go back, though. We got a tiny bit of coins. Is there enough to level up something up? I quite like the music in this. 
This is very fun. Really feels like I'm at the arcade or something. Let's go with more max health. Go back. Okay, play. And then let's see. Max and... Oh no, have they not permanently unlocked? Oh, I don't know how that works, I guess. Okay, I guess we'll st we're sticking with Max. Oh, I wanted to go back to the mozzarella, though. Blaster with pushback. Although, I mean, actually, once the pepperoni gets, like, leveled up, it was pretty good. And you have other things. Oh, we can try the black olives. Actually, let's try the black olives. We haven't tried that one yet. Let's go back in. See if we can last any longer. Let's start by going east this time. All right. Touch your right pizza and survive for 20 minutes, which is just... It's quite a long time, really. All right, and there's just an olive that just spins around us. I don't think I like that uh, because... We have to let things get quite close to us and we're just not killing anything while we're running away from stuff like this. But we're definitely going to need, well, we're gonna need to try quite frankly, because we need to get at least like another unlock. So we have another weapon that's killing things that are a bit further away from us. Oh my gosh. Ow. Whatever this is, garlic or something. Oh, a pet, okay. Uh, I mean, sure. Oh, ow. I don't know if we're gonna make it. This, I don't know about this olive business. There's not very many foods in the world that I won't eat, but olives are on that list. All right, now we can get the mozzarella. Or we could go, we could go. What if we try to make the most disgusting pizza? We'll get anchovies. Anchovies and olives would make a really terrible pizza in my mind. What are the best pizza toppings though? What are your, what, what would you, what do you put on your pizza? Like what's your favorite? I like, if I'm getting like a nice classic, like Italian pizza, then I like, quite frankly, just a bit of like mozzarella, like margarita pizza. I also quite like like pepperoni and like a hot honey. That's very good. Uh, so I'm in a freeze zone. Chill the pizza, please. I hate cold pizza. Uh, anchovies, one more fish. Okay, let's get another fish. Uh, but if we're talking about like a very Americanized pizza, there is like a cheeseburger pizza, which sounds kind of disgusting. And I, when I first heard it, I was like, that's gross. I would never eat that. And it's so good. So it's got like ground beef on it. And then it has burger sauce and pickles. You can get it at Domino's. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else, but it's so good. It's like, it's my favorite. All right, blast large foes. We want to get some rooster sauce here or more anchovies. I haven't even noticed the anchovies. Are they doing something? Oh yeah, we're throwing anchovies at people. Yeah, they go out and they slap, slap the enemies. Okay, we've just got, we're going to have more anchovies then. So we try to rescue this pet. I don't know if we're going to rescue this pet though. We are hurting quite a bit here. Oh, some onion on a pizza with anchovies and olives? This is gonna be a very smelly pizza that I would not eat. Push back waves, yeah, get the onions. Start pushing some waves back. Although, does the onion pushing waves back work well with our olives? Because our olives obviously means enemies need to get kind of close to us so that we can like slice them with the olive. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's ow, sort of working. I need to get closer. I need to get that heart. There we go, got it. Ow, 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 we took a bit of damage to do that though. Oh, we almost got this pet. There we go, we got Django. Django, the German shepherd. Let's put exploding seeds, splitting amid sod. Uh, spawns a large rolling burrata. Oh, I mean, I do love burrata. That sounds delicious. Machine, I, I don't think it's gonna rescue this pizza though. I definitely never eat this pizza. Or the ham was really cool last time. Let's get the burrata though. It makes a big like cheese ball that just like rolls out and hits enemies, <laughs> which I think is great. And we've got our two dogs. Django and Max collecting things for us, so that's good. We need to head back this way. I think we'll head south next. I'm not sure what's going to make this, this run any easier. It's very difficult. Oh, these bouncing, like, I don't know what they are. I want to say, like, garlics, but that's not really quite the garlic shape. I'm not sure what that is. What is that? It's a vegetable of some sort, right? Because we're in the vegetable garden in the meadows here. Oh, there's a cute dinosaur. He's got a heart for us. Ow. Can we get him? The burrata will run him over. There we go. Got him. Got the heart. Keep running. Keep going down the path here. Quite some distance you have to travel. Oh, no, ow, that thing. Giant tomato of doom. Of doom, I tell you. All right, oh, okay, so we followed the next path and we have got a, another pizza oven, which is good. It gives us quite a few level ups. So if we can turn that pizza oven on, cook this pizza. <laughs> Let's get another burrata. I quite like that one. It's 10% larger. It's gonna crush more enemies then. Ow. Ah, we're taking some damage here. It's not good. We're only four minutes in also, so... Ow, it's a bit rough going. This pizza oven turned on. Then we'll get leveled up and we'll feel a lot better. Okay, here's another level up though. Uh, basil, cooldown. I think reducing the cooldown is always good. Okay, pizza oven's almost on here. There we go, pizza oven's on, so we get to level up a bit. More burrata cooldown, that's good. More... Let's go with the hot shot. We'll flame some of the enemies. And, ooh, more... More fish, one more fish, with cooldown less five percent or damage up on the burrata. Uh, more anchovies, I guess. Like, more flopping fish out there. Okay, 
This area is done, so we need to leave this area. Our health is super low. Ow! Oh, boy. Okay, there's our first revive. I thought we'd already used that, so that's good that we hadn't. Uh, four and a half minutes in, so worse than our first run. But that was on an easier area. But worse than the second run, I think. Or about on par with the second run. Ooh, there's a bonus over here. 27 seconds. Can we get there, though, is the question. So I don't want to get too far away from the path, really, that we don't see it ever again, but I think it's worth getting these because it does give you a level up. All right, more burrata was good. We'll take that and come back this way. Ow, 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 ow. All right, we haven't gone west in this world yet. Oh, no, but there's a vending machine down here because we're at five minutes. All right, go to the vending machine because I think it does give you something. Ow. This, though, I don't know what... It says vending machine. How about a snack? And then that's it. We'll take it. I mean, it does something. It hangs out around us. Ow. There's a heart over there somewhere. Oh, gosh. The strawberries are out. Ah, uh, we're taking so much damage. I don't think this is going to be lasting very long. <laughs> no, it did not last very long at all. Look at that disgusting pizza. I mean, it's very colorful, to be fair. I think it's the anchovies, mostly. <laughs> all right. I actually really love this game. Uh, so if you do, too... Uh, check it out. It's actually, you can play it for free on Steam, so that's fantastic. I love a good free game, and I think this is a great free game. So yeah, check out Pizza Hero, and let me know what you put on your pizza, because I want to know your favorite pizza toppings. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>